Hello friends, welcome to Code Chef. This is Suraj, and in this video, let's discuss this problem anti knapsack from Starters 38. Now let's understand the problem statement. So here in this problem, we'll be given with two integers n and k, and we need to construct an array a of size total n, and that array should have all the element, uh, all its all the numbers distinct, and also each and every element should lie between this range. It should be greater than or equal to one and less than or equal to uh, twenty thousand. Okay, and uh, we need to satisfy one condition that no subsequence of this array A uh, should have sum equal to K. Okay. And uh, here, uh, let's see the input and output structure. So in the input, first of all, we'll get total number of test cases. Then for each test case, we'll get two numbers. Okay. First will be N, the size of an uh, array, uh, size of the required array. And the second number will be K. Here, this is the K. Uh, which we are targeting that no sub no subsequence of a should have sum equal to k okay and in the output we need to print that array a so now let's discuss the approach so let's say uh, this is our array and we got some random elements let's say these elements are a1 then plus till some a am then so on till plus some an okay and uh, the overall sum here should not be equal to k okay for any combination of element for any combination we pick any combination here the sum of those combination or sum of those elements present in that combination should not be equal to k okay so how we can get this possible okay so let's see here the approach so let's say we pick a number p such that p cannot divide k completely okay so if i try to divide k by p then we'll get some question and after all this division we'll get some reminder and this reminder here will not be equal to zero so what it means is for any uh, integer let's say if for any integer if we do like this p multiply by t where t is any integer t belongs to integer for any integer this it cannot be equal to k it means this okay so p multiplied by any integer will never be equal to k so now we can use this property to construct our array how let's say we take our array a as p plus, uh, p then 2p then 3p then 4p and so on till np so now if you pick any combination here so what will happen let's say i will pick this this and uh, let's say some random mp here this so we'll get sum is equals to 2p plus 3p plus mp okay and here the i uh, we won't uh, we uh, we don't want this to be equal to k okay so now we can present this as 2 plus 3 plus m p and we don't want this to be equal to k now if you see here this is an integer okay so integer times p should not be equal to k and if p uh, integer times p should not be equal to k and if p cannot divide k so we can never get an integer value here okay this is possible only when p uh, divides k successfully then our uh, this factor here will be equals to q but if p cannot divide k then uh, we uh, then th there is no integer value possible at this position so if this is integer here okay and uh, then it satisfies this condition so what we need to do here is we just need to find out first p okay starting from one okay we just need to find out first p which cannot divide k completely and then we can construct an array using uh, uh using this method here p 2p 3p 4p like that till np so this will give us the correct result now let's dry run our approach and see what uh, how we can construct the array for this for particular test case okay so we have n is equals to 4 and k is equals to 10 so first of all we need to find out the value p so we'll start from p equal to 1 okay so p equal to 1 divides k successfully so we won't take p equal to 1 so we'll go to now second 2 so here 2 divides k successfully because 2 times 5 is equals to 10 so we won't take 2 we'll go to 3 3 here doesn't divide k successfully because if we divide 3 so we'll get 3 times 3 9 so we'll get remainder 1 so here uh, this 3 doesn't divide k successfully so we'll take p is equals to 3 and then we'll construct our array using this value 
so our array will be 3 plus 2 multiplied by 3 plus 3 multiplied by 3 plus 4 multiplied by 3 okay uh, instead of plus here I will use minus uh, sorry comma so this will this will be our array so our final elements will be 3 comma 6 comma 9 comma 12 and if you choose any combination of this element the sum will never be equals to k okay because overall uh, here this p can never divide k so this question here if you divide it completely like in points this question here can never be equal to integer because we can take 10 here then it will be 3.3 then so here the division will answer will a question will be 3.333 something like this so it is not equal to an integer so this is one of the valid array for this test case so i hope you understood the approach now let's see the implementation in c++ and python here is the c++ implementation so first of all i am accepting t the total number of test cases then i'm calling solution function for each and every test case then here i'll accept the value of n uh, and k then here i have initialized a vector of uh, vector answer of size total n then first of all we'll calculate what should be the value of our p so i'll initialize p by 0 then I will keep incrementing p until I find a p which doesn't divide k or completely. Okay. Then after we get the value of p, then we'll just print all the multiples of p starting from uh, p times 1 till p times n. So that this will be our answer. Similarly, here is the Python implementation. So first of all, I will accept p the total number of test cases. Then I will uh, call the solution function for each and every test case. And in the solution function, I'll accept the value of n and k. Then here I'll calculate the value of p. So I'll keep incrementing the value of p until I find a p which doesn't divide k completely. Okay. Then I'll uh, after this I will get the value of p. Then then here we'll just multi uh, we'll just print out all the multiples of p, uh, starting from p equal to one till p uh, equal to n. Okay. And here then uh, I'm just printing an, an empty. Uh, I'm just calling this print function to get a new line. So I hope you understood the logic and implementation in both C++ and Python. In case you have any doubt, feel free to write in the comments. So let's meet in another video. Thank you so much.